It's your boy Hames, and guys, we are back with another podcast. Today's topic is Cyberpunk Company CD Project is getting sued. Who saw that come? Who saw where that came from? <laughs> but anyway, so guys, we're gonna actually be reading an article all the way from Bloomberg uh, by Edward Peterson, and it goes off by starting with. Cyberpunk maker CD Projekt sued by investor over botched launch. CD Projekt SA, the Polish video game publisher of Cyberpunk 2077, was sued by an investor who claims the company misled him about the potential of the error played game whose botched release this month caused shares to dive. Andrew Trampe sued Thursday in federal court in Los Angeles and seeks to represent other investors who bought the company's securities. Yeah, it ain't good looking good. <clears throat> CD Projekt failed to disclose that Cyberpunk was, quote, virtually unplayable on the current generation Xbox or PlayStation systems due to an enormous number of bugs, according to the complaint. As a result, Sony Corp removed Cyberpunk 2077 from the PlayStation Store and Sony Microsoft Corp. And the company were forced to offer full refunds for the game according to the complaint. The company's American depository receipts fell 25% in the three days after Cyberpunk 2077 was released on December 10th. They fell another 16% after Sony removed the game from its PlayStation Store on December the 18th. CD Projekt representatives didn't respond to an email request for comment sent after regular business hours. So guys, I just hearing that, it was one of those when the game, I, let's just be honest, I didn't hear shit about this game. Um, I don't know, it's like I don't, I look for games but then I kind of don't. I kind of hear some things but then it's like I don't really care. I've had so many people out of the woodwork just come out talking about even a homie of mine about a cyberpunk. It's like, ooh, this is supposed to be the great game. This is like almost like, you know, some Fallout type stuff where you can, you know, customize your character. You can do this. So many different missions, you know, on and so forth. Then you got even like Keanu Reeves even doing his uh, cameo appearance and it's supposed to be a protagonist of the story. So that sold it even more. And I remember somewhere between like last year or so, they literally just sat there and then first from having the release to then basically canceling the release for reasons, you know, then out of nowhere. Now they actually bring up this game and they finally have it come through and everybody's complaining about these different bugs. Now, some people are already or they're throwing under the bus about the old gen console. But my thing is this right now. And it's just like even with this whole PS5 and Xbox, in all real realistic form, not everybody has the new console. You know, everybody's still operating on their PS4, their Xbox, their PC, you know, whatever it might have you. You know, everybody has a fully, and then not to mention, nobody had the chance to fully upgrade because the goddamn games, the consoles, you can't find them nowhere. They're being scalped out here. A lot of these scalping, these bots are buying it up. People are sitting there getting boxes to their house. You got cat food, so you paid five hundred dollars for some fancy cat food. You know, it's it's hard getting this stuff. Like it's hard to get, and then you got people who are selling. They sell them for double the price, triple the price, and I'm pretty sure those triple prices don't come with a warranty or anything like that. So when that system breaks, you're pretty much screwed. So I mean, you may say, well, where are you going with this? Because like you took, you went from talking about the game to the, the console and stuff. It's just my point of it all has something to do with one another in a sense of they're rushing a product. They haven't sat there and took the time to actually make sure that all the bugs and all the kinks were fixed before they released it. So then they try to cop out. They're trying to basically tell you, well, if you had a PS5, you wouldn't be going through this shit. Bullshit. There's so many people that are coming out here now who are actually talking about the different glitches. I've seen streamers on Twitch who send their all of a sudden, a car flying out of nowhere and getting stuck in one spot. Unless that was purposeful to do like parallel parking, that wasn't a part of the original plan when the game came out. What it was, they didn't own up. 
and they sat there and they screwed up. And you have so many people who have sat there and invested money and time because so much stuff was in this that they put their money into this and they're basically upset. I feel like at the end of the day, this comes back to before you put a product out, take the time and work on it. Make sure that the thing is actually as it's supposed to be. If you do that, I think that at the end of the day, you'll be doing a greater service to the community, to the gamers as a whole versus putting out some half-assed shit and either it doesn't work or it's parts missing and then they make up for it by, you know, oh, we'll release this patch here. This was almost the same thing like as No Man's Sky. And by the time they released all these good patches and stuff, everybody has forgotten about that fucking game. They didn't even care about it. So it's like it was already at that point where Nobody gave a shit. It's done. And, you know, by the time you got to enjoy it, it's like, because I'm even looking now. I was looking online and they actually, they don't necessarily have the digital copy, but you can still get the hard copy and they're already shooting it down from what was supposed to have been, you know, the $59.99 to $49.99. So I can see a lot of people, both people who had anticipated this game. I can see why they're pissed to anybody that had any stock or shares and stuff invested into this. I can see why they're pissed. I think this is just a safe time to honestly just to say both as far as with not just this game, but like with consoles and stuff alike. If you're going to go ahead and release this shit, you know, go all the way. Make sure the shit actually works. Take the time, do the tests, do extensive tests. And you know what? At the meantime, still keep shoot, milk the hell out of PS4, milk the hell out of Xbox. Like, I mean, these are still to me good quality consoles that haven't even yet really, I think, been fully tapped. This is actually just an example. Um, I had um, Dying Light. And when I first played it, the game looked pretty decent, but then they did an update which came about maybe like a few months in and it was like almost like a full render. Like, graphics was on like a whole nother level. Everything was rendered properly Everything was smooth. So it's like basically they have the ability to update, you know, like the frame rate, you know, the graphics. You can even do that through patch updates. So that being said, this is basically already the PC of its time. Like um, I really see even more potential in this than I even saw the potential in PS3. So it's like they had time to sit here, you know, take the time to work on this. But it's like all for the sake of the holidays and to keep it with the so-called norm or to get us back on the norm. They want to sit here and try to rush everything out. And everybody out there who, if you had sat there and you got this system and it, it shit it out on you, oh, they'll send you another, but it's going to be the exact same one. So you're basically paying, you basically only pay for a very expensive warranty this is what I see from all of this. And uh, same thing with this game. You basically paid to basically have to refund it. So you wasted time. Now to everybody that kept it and you're a diehard fan and you want to see it through, hey, Hats off to you. Uh, I'm still debating myself, but I might honestly wait until it drops like another 10, 15 bucks or, you know, see if it drops even cheaper than that. But anyway, guys, what are your thoughts? Do you think the, the, the people that are actually suing them, do you think it's necessary? Do you think they should give Project CD a better chance? Or do you think at the end of the day they screwed everybody over? What are your thoughts even like with the consoles and stuff? They're supposed to be having another release after Christmas, but... Even saying that, guys, it's still been hard. And, of course, we still haven't had all the kinks and the bugs. Some people claim that they haven't had nothing happen to them or their system, but that's the lucky few out of the majority of people that complain. What are they supposed to do until everything gets fixed? But with that being said, everybody, this is your boy, Heemscast Game, and signing off with another podcast. I will definitely see you guys soon with more content. To everybody out there, peace till the next podcast, and, of course, peace till the next stream.